The Washington Post today got a copy of an inspector general's report that shows how a former DC public schools chancellor, Kaya Henderson, gave preferential treatment to multiple district officials and members of the public in DC's school lottery process. Uh, the school lottery process is a very familiar ritual to parents in the Capitol. Uh, it's something that you have to go through if you want to enroll your child in any school outside of your neighborhood, and it's something that leads to a lot of heartbreak, a lot of anguish among parents who don't get their top choice. And what's so interesting about the report is that it really shows how a select group of individuals, including two top cabinet officials in the mayor's office, uh, a former mayor, a White House staffer, were essentially being allowed to evade the rules of the school lottery and place their children in some of the city's most desired public schools. This actually concerns the former chancellor, Kaya Henderson, and it is a very interesting question how this is going to affect her reputation because she is an educator with a national profile. This report could perhaps change people's perceptions of her. Her assertions have been that she did nothing wrong, that she had this power to make special school placements that she exercised, but at the same time, in this report that the Washington Post obtained, she repeatedly states that she did seem to have a different standard for government officials and for certain prominent people. Mayor Bowser said that she wants to change the rules. She put out an order on Friday uh, after a week of media attention to this issue saying that the new chancellor, Antoine Wilson, has been directed to create a new set of rules governing these discretionary transfers going forward to make sure that they're used properly and Bowser has also said that any of her appointees, any top government officials, will have to consult with the Board of Ethics and Government Accountability before they request a transfer like this.